Okay, so when we left off, we had just completed the tub, and uh, we, or excuse me, we had the tub completed, and we just put the forward bulkhead on. So now the bulkhead is done, and we can move on to the next phase, which is going to be uh, putting the walls up. So well, I'm trying to code that. There we go, it's done. So we got the basis of the tub ready, and so the next step is going to be the uh, actual side walls. So the side walls are also two inch foam. Uh, the only exception on this is going to be there is two inch, or excuse me, there's two inch foam uh, for the actual walls and then on the outside skin is gonna be five millimeter sanded plywood. Uh, once again, I did not actually record uh, adhering the plywood to the skin much like I'd done on the underside of the tub and the underside of the wings. So, uh, <laughs> but I, I did the exact same process. Uh, I coated the inside of the five millimeter plywood with resin and then coated the two inch foam with resin and then placed both of them on top of each other and glued it together. Now, the much like we did with the corners of the tub or the walls of the tub along with the wings we're going to do the same thing with the outer edge of the wing and then the bottom side of the wall by putting in those uh, uh, notches in order for it to fit down on so you'll see that process here shortly let's get into it now the one real pain in the butt uh, when you're trying to do big projects like this is when you have a small two-car garage as built in 96 so I guess cars were a lot smaller back then, but you know, once I put my truck in there and then the lawnmower, there's not a whole lot of room left over. So uh, unfortunately, you got to kind of create a workspace. So all I've done here is uh, just laid some one by fours across there in order to lay the wall on while I cut out the notches on the bottom of it. And uh, just to refresh, I did put the five millimeter sand plywood on the outside of the wall so you're actually looking at the inside of the wall at this point so the first thing I did once I got the wall laid out is to go ahead and mark off the bottom edge by two inches so the depth or the height however you want to look at it for the notches is going to be two inches by six inches so putting a straight edge down I went ahead and just scored the bottom there of the wall and made sure that when I went to score the bottom of the wing that it was offset. So uh, I did screw this up once when I accidentally uh, did one wall section and turned out that I had spaced them exactly the same. So <laughs> it was a notch on top of a notch. So that didn't work out so well. After I had the straight edge put on there to had it measured out, I put a one by four on the top edge of the two inch cut uh, as a backer so I knew not to go past that particular point uh, just in case I had a slip with the uh, sawzall or with the uh, jigsaw. started with the jigsaw but the problem with that is the uh, stroke of it wouldn't quite cut both the foam and the five millimeter plywood it was literally five millimeters too short on the full stroke of it with the blade so I actually had to wind up doing this in two pieces or uh, I should say two different cuts so I used the jigsaw or excuse me I used the uh, uh, sawzall in order to make the vertical cuts for each one of the notches and then went back and used a multi-tool to cut out the tops of the foam against the plywood. Once I completed the cuts on the foam side I went ahead and flipped it over then measured the uh, same distance from the bottom to the top which of course was the two inches 
and just repeated my measurements so that I could then cut the five millimeter sanded plywood out. I'm sure there is a much easier and better way to do this. Um, probably could have gotten a longer jigsaw blade and in retrospect, yeah, I probably should have done that. Um, however, I just wanted to get the walls done because I was on a timeline crunch here. So I wound up having to do it the you know doubly hard way because sometimes I'm just an idiot. Now, once I got done uh, notching the wall and of course notching the wing, I went ahead and did a test fit on it just to uh, make sure everything was lined up the way it was supposed to be. Next up, after I fitted and measured where the notch would be on the bulkhead, because the uh, wall is actually going to be, uh, instead of being on the outside of the bulkhead, it's going to basically be on the inside corner of the bulkhead. So I had to go ahead and notch that portion out. After that, it was one more test fit, and of course I had to notch out the uh, bottom corner as it rested up against that uh, 1x4. It was still sticking out about an inch, so I had to go ahead and make uh, room for that. Once completed, went ahead and sanded all the joints just to make sure they're properly fit, and then it was ready to glue it into place. Mm -hmm. 